Ryan Gill here with Hunt Primitive, where we entertain, educate, and inspire. And on this channel, we do a lot of building and hunting with primitive bows, atlatls, and flintlocks. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. In this episode, we're going to be napping a stone point and then taking a white-tailed deer with it. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention that you can look down in the show notes at any time to see the links to all the awesome gear we used in this video. Well, these really are some scary sharp stone points, but before we head on out and hunt a white-tailed deer with them, I just want to mention real fast that the behind the scenes text version of this video and other primitive hunting videos are going to be featured in Primitive Archer magazine. So look down in the show notes for that link as well. But for now, on to the video.
All right, well, we're heading heading on over to the doe that we just, I think, made a about a perfect heart shot on. And uh, really, there's no blood trail necessary. Uh, I watched her go down, and I think you could, too. I think you could see her. And we got some good light yet. And uh, But let's head on over, see if we can, you know, find a little blood on the way. May find the arrow if it's uh, if she lost it on the way, but I mean I can shoot. I can see her laying up there already, so we're in good shape. When you hit these deer good, they leave a heck of a blood trail even with a stone point. They really do. A properly sharpened stone point is as deadly as anything if you put it in the right spot. Uh, they they really leave a trail to follow. Of course, we don't need to follow a trail on this one, but I mean, it sure does the job. That's for sure. Here she is laying there. I mean, she did not make it. I bet 50, 60 yards from the tree. Oh, that great blood! If you can see that. I don't see the arrow here anywhere, but that's not surprising. I mean, she ran. I mean, there's blood all over here. I'm sure this arrow is. Oh, there it is. Laying well pieces of it anyway. Well, the important sides here still together. Look at that. Look at that. Point still hafted on. Amazing how tough pine pitch really can be. I mean, it's not. It might be broke loose. I mean, it. I don't even think it's broke loose. But that is a porcelainite point. That rock is a natural forming rock. Uh, it's basically silicified mud. Um, and that's out of Montana. A friend of mine, uh, Travis Crush, he sent that down to me and made a, a real nice point out of it. And uh, I tell you what, it looks like it sure did a number on this dough here. And you can see, see that? Opposite hard shot. I bet you that's exactly what it was. Just a, a perfect, really nice shot on this deer. So we'll have to back up and uh, we'll look at it a little bit more. Well, we got us a nice Florida doe here. And kind of a fun story, and unfortunately, I know a lot of folks don't like to see that. That is part of hunting, but that arrow is crammed in there. I can't get it out right now. Um, I'm usually all about respect and cleaning everything up before we show it. We're fighting daylight. And we're going to get this videoed on camera. Uh, but that's an illustration of a really good shot, and we're, and we're proud we made it. And this is one of my U-Alpine models. And it's more of a, a modern interpretation of a primitive bow. This one's cleaned up. It's, it's fancy, you know, to uh, more modern standards, if you will. You know, beaver tail handle. Uh, I got nice snakeskin, veneered snakeskins on the back. And uh, pretty buffalo horn tip overlays. And, uh, and like I said, it's just kind of a modern interpretation of, uh, of a primitive bow. Just I got this nice bobcat uh, plains quiver. And uh, this was actually the same quiver I wore uh, on the elk hunt this year to Idaho. And uh, actually same arrows and everything. This, was my, this bow was actually my backup bow for that hunt. Thanks for watching, and for more primitive build and hunting videos just like this one, subscribe on YouTube or at the link in the description, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Subscribe!